another beautiful episode of 20 questions with your favorite Christian celebrity. Yes, yes, I know it's been a long time on this particular program and yes, it's all because of the lockdown. We couldn't um, have another um, episode on this program and guess what? We are here. Corona got nothing on us. Yes, um, our last episode on this program, we got to meet the beautiful and fire-branded minister, Praise Shogade. And today we are going to be meeting the catalyst, the drunkard, the intoxicated, the beautiful, beautiful, fire-branded music minister. I know we have been meeting music winter, music ministers. Don't worry, very soon we're going to be meeting teachers of the world, preachers of the world, evangelists, you know. But for now, we're going to be meeting the beautiful catalyst, the fire-branded minister. I call her Mama Richards. Guys, join me as I make welcome Minister Richards. Are we praying? Are we praying? Can you give yourself to prayer? Young men and women, can we give ourselves to prayer? Pray in tongues. Stare up, stare up. Consciously. Intentionally awake those things. Sky. A deaf dish tabana da coda, Liana Rabada, a retainer da cadabada. Forever, your name is evergreen. You are the wisdom before time began. A cotto barateco, you reign forever. Your name is evergreen. You are the wisdom before. You reign forever, your name is ever great. You are the wisdom before time began. You reign forever, your name, 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 from your fans so are you ready to give us the answers mm, by God's grace I am all right so let's start who is Richux 
Okay, Retreat is a young girl from Unigo State. Yeah, I'm from Unigo State in Kano East, Ihopara, from a family that consists of seven children and parents. I'm the fifth. Wow. Yeah. So you have four elder sisters? Sisters and brothers. And brothers. Yeah. Alright, so um, are you a gospel artist or a music minister? Okay, I'm a minister. All right. I'm a minister. So if are you are you planning on releasing any song very soon? Concerning songs, I I don't know. Yes, there's nothing actually coming, but I believe if something comes, we all would get informed. Yes. Right, so, so if you um if you had a chance to work with any record label, which record label would you love to work with, and which music minister would you also love to work with? Okay, one of the record labels that has been of great blessing to me, yes, I would continually think of this one's is um, Easy Concepts. Yes, though I'm not, I'm not really a person of record labels, but I love them, yes, mm -hmm. because I, I see all the ministers there as people that understand word and prayers and everything, so celebrate them. Alright, so you are the convener of Undiluted Worship? Yes, ma'am. How many years now? It's three years. Okay. Like, should I, this year we'll be having the fourth. Wow, so it's yearly? Yeah, it's yearly. So what, um, what is the aim of Undiluted Worship? What is it all about? What brought about Undiluted Worship? Okay, Undiluted Worship is um, a meeting actually put together to just bring men, yes, saints together to enjoy God in word, prayer and songs, yes, just enjoy God without trying to bother anything. That is why the name Undiluted mm. will bring the word as it is. Yeah. So you've been in ministry for three years. Yes, yes, it's 2017. Are, right? 2017. Alright, so from then to now, will you say what 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 will you say you've learned from 2017 to um, this time? Okay, I've actually learned so much, yeah. I've learned so much though, but um, one of the things I would put on on the major surface is um, I've learned consistency and um, staying with the right motive because I believe these things are actually one of the drivers. Anybody that is actually consistent and with the right motive can make so much progress. Mm -hmm. Yes chasing after the right things and all of that. Okay, so during these three years, there's, there is, um, in fact, there is, it's, um, it is sure that you have, um, maybe you were discouraged at some point. So who is the person, who are the people that held your hands, that encouraged you, you know, that kept you going during these three years? Okay, I would celebrate um, Mama Abi, yeah, Abi Ojemu particularly, like she has been of great help, like right from the start, she's the foundation, so I would for, forever remember her whenever I think of the church ministry, yeah, Mama Abi Ojemu. Alright, so we're saying thank you to Mama Abi. Yeah. Alright, so um, what really is spiritual growth? You know, we've had different um, definitions about spiritual growth. People will be like, you are growing, you are praying eight hours, you can mm -hmm. So what really, what, how would you, how would um, Mama Richards define spiritual growth? Okay, spiritual growth, um, I would define it first of all on how educated a person is with the word of God. Yes, that's, that is where it starts from then. How much you are giving to prayers, yes. A person can be praying and still not have the knowledge of the word of God. So, yes, he's growing, but he's not really making so much progress because even the prayer, the, the, your knowledge of the word will help your prayers. So, the person that is praying that does not know the word, you are not growing in a balanced way. So, your knowledge of the word and how much you are giving to prayers is what I would speak of spiritual goods from that angle. Yes. Right, so, it's the combination of those. Yes, yes. And how much you are giving to prayers. Alright, so the song we chant in the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Actually, I, I, I learned this song from a friend of mine who is like a mentee to you. Minister Pray Show by the Okay. Yeah, so she said she also heard it from one of your administration. So this song is it really yours? <laughs> okay. This question particularly is actually funny, yes, because I've heard these questions from a lot of people, both on social media and everything. Why is this your song? Is this your song? And funny enough, even I don't know who sang the song. Okay. Wow. Let me just tell the story of the song. I heard the song when I just passed a rehearsal. Wow. And so I heard that song in twenty eighteen. And it came to my head to start singing from 2019. So it's not my song. Yeah, it's wow. not my song. Alright, so in the, we said earlier on that you've been in ministry for three years. Yeah. So in these three years of ministry, what has been your greatest achievement? Okay, my greatest achievement. Okay. Yes, a lot of people will judge achievements in different ways. Yes, there's, there's an achievement based on spirituals and an achievement based on the normal things. Okay. So I would count my achievement based on my spirituals, how much I have made progress in, in 
prayers and make progress in the world. Yes, I'm not checking how many stages I've climbed to. Those things are achievements too. Mm. But I bless God for some ministers I've shared stage with and how much we have done ministry beyond Lagos. Yes, mm. glory to God. So you, um, what of your relationship? You know, we've we've seen pictures. In fact, I'm going to insert the pictures in this video. <laughs> we've seen pictures of you with Papa Lawrence, with Papa Theophilus. You know, so you said this relationship that you, that you built is actually one of the achievements of this new ministry. Yes, 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 so much. Yes, it is. It is. Yes, even my neutral, my circle around here. Yes, Kalu Chiamaka, Minister Sam Prezo, every everyone. They have been a great blessing to my. So, um, any challenges faced and how did you get past it? This particular question was asked by one of your, maybe fan, he sent it to my Facebook, so I would like you to answer this question. So, any challenges faced and how did you get past those challenges? Okay, yes, I've seen a lot of challenges, yes, that's why most times when people come to explain their stuff to me, I would be like, mm, you don't judge something by how loose it looks from the outside. It's mm -hmm. for the fact that Rochukes always comes out to meetings and smiles with everybody. It does not mean I don't mm -hmm. have hard times. But how much we have learned to stay. Mm -hmm. It's even in, in difficult times. Like Papa Tiffilo sang a song, he said, I choose your way, it may not be easy. So truly, it is not always easy, but we have learned to stay. So it's actually your decision to stay. How much you have decided to stay is what can make you overcome some things. Yeah. So can you give us two of those challenges and how did you get past them? Wow. <laughs> okay. I've actually seen challenges from even family. Yes, there were times it was almost like ministry would have to end. Mm. Yes, it was order heavy. At times my phone has gotten broken because I went out for ministrations. I've seen things, so but consistency made them even give up on mm -hmm. trying to put an yeah, end to those true. things. That's yes, true. so. So did you ever think, you know, there are people that, you know, these thoughts have crept into their mind. Did you ever think you came out too early? And how did you address that thought? Mm, no, I didn't. I didn't ever think I came out too early. I, I, I always think I came out when it was when the mm. time was due. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So what's your what's Mama's typical day like? Like what did you do? What do you do? Uh, like on a day maybe you're not out for ministration. So what do you do at home? Just normal. No, wake up in the morning. Do normal house chores. People want to know. Tell us details. Details. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Just wake up now, do normal house chores like just with family yeah. and spiritual exercises and everything. You know, people think God is mama, but this is always capacity for money tonight. <laughs> so, alright, so what do you do to have fun? Uh, I, I'm a fun person. I see movies, yeah. Okay. I play 3D games. I do a lot of things. Uh -huh. yes. I thank God this question came for those that think I don't have fun. Yeah. <laughs> alright, so, um, <clears throat> Is mama in a romantic relationship? I I <laughs> purpose intentionally put that romantic because mama will be like, yes, I'm in a relationship with Jesus. No, yeah. it's not that one. So okay. talking about the okay. romantic relationship. I know um, all the viewers now they are paying so much attention. Ah. We want to hear. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> okay, let me just make it blunt. I'm not in a relationship. Yes, I'm not. Okay, so you guys. And now disappointed. So people <laughs> were like, Mama must be. Can't you say Mama is beautiful? Uh -uh. Fire branded. Okay. So if you're out there thinking Mama <laughs> is, you know, there's no ring. Mm -hmm. All right. So your slang have sense. So, <laughs> hey. so what brought about this slang and what does it really mean? First of all, I'll say that I've said this sweeter from your mouth. Mm, okay. Apple said this, this slang. Half sense, so uh -huh. half sense in life. <laughs> okay, half sense. Let, okay, let me make a correction first. Disclaimer: half sense is not my slang, but I think I've overused it, and people have taken okay. it as my property. It's actually Pastor Lawrence. Yes, mm -hmm. so he has overused it on us. We became used to the word. Yeah. All right. So, what do you think it actually means? Yeah, when, when Pastor Lawrence, okay, he would use it in situations like, you know, yeah, I believe I am not praying. You want to make progress, have sense. So he's actually trying to remind you that you are not doing the right things. It's just like telling the person to walk in the spirit to hey, hey, that's what it's like. All right, so what mistake have you made that you want young ministers to learn from? Wow, okay, uh, I'm particular about this one. Okay, when I started ministry, you know, I, I've been speaking of motives and all. Okay, I started ministry with a wrong aim, or should I say a wrong desire? I thought that I'm coming to blow, yeah. All my thought was that hmm, after my season one that, that happened in 2017 that after this other name was Chooks. In short, funny enough, then I had another name. 
impress who comes. <laughs> so I was just thinking that this ministry thing is just a blow thing, like let's just come and blow. Yeah. And because of that, um, funny enough, things were not going as it should go. Yes, yeah, still I got to start giving attention to the things of the spirit as I should. Yes, it became better. So those of us out there chatting people, please put me in program, please end it. I have beg. Sense. It does not work with have sense. <laughs> No work with. So what's your advice to them? Yes, they should just follow. I, I tell people that um, the right process would always get progress. Yes, mm -hmm. as long as you're giving to process, it is not possible. Yeah, that you. Rem, uh, uh, I'm repeat it. What? Down, no. It is not possible for a person to be following the process as he should, as he should, and not not make progress. So, the moment you start giving yourself to the right things, you would see progress. Results must be better. It is normal. So what are the mentors? Okay, my mentors, Pastor Lawrence is a mentor, Mama Abbe is a mentor. I hope I won't call too much people, let's manage it. Pastor Jolai Mutemutayo is a mentor, yes, and Papa Tiolo Sunday. So, who is your, who are your spiritual parents? My spiritual parents, okay. My spiritual parents are Mama Abbe and Pastor Lawrence. Ah. So what's your best song at the moment? Because we know for people, for for someone like me, I'm always like, okay, what's your best song at the moment? Because for someone like me, I'm always like, yes, <laughs> you've always corrected me like thousands, thousands, thousands of times that it's not, it's actually it's because I know you love singing this song. So what's your best song at the moment? Okay, do I have a best song? I don't know. I just love many songs. Okay, can you give us ten? Well, <laughs> okay, the truth is, um, Jesus, my Lord, is my best song. Okay. Okay. It's I'm my always best song. right. Like, yes, it's my best song. Yeah, I hope you're fine. <laughs> it's my best song. Yeah, I love the song. All right, so we are rounding up. So we'd like you to do something for us. Can you sing your best song for us, you know, or any other song you'd like to sing? Okay. Oh, before that, Mama, do you play any instrument? <laughs> okay, ha, ah, God, you won't cast me. Okay, I actually play the drums, yeah. Wow. I play the drums, but it's not like I'm so good. Nobody should see me in program and say, yeah, I play the drums and can do little things on the guitar, yeah. So, would you like to play on the guitar and sing just my notes? No. Why? <laughs> no. Uh, Alright, so sing for us as we round up. Must it be Jason, my Lord? Any other, any, any sentence? Okay, um, dear viewers, I don't really have vocals, so you just... Don't oh, mind that. It's the anointing. <laughs> vocal does not count. Mm. If I miss it, I'm going into ministry. I can't sing, but you know. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, which song do you want? Like, I don't, I don't, there's no song coming to my head. Anyone. Uh, I should not waste our time. I just bring a song you think. Mm -hmm. Mama, can, you can even say pray in spirit for one minute for the song to come. You can do anything. I'm not praying. <laughs> you don't cast me. Okay. Um, we'll just do this song. Jesus. Uh -huh. Jesus, my Lord. I want to make you smile. It's a simple song now. There's nothing I'm doing again now. <laughs> Tell me, you can stand up. I can carry. You must sing. I should stand up. You can stand up if you're not comfortable. We'll just use it up like this. Okay, see the way you love me. Ah, you're talking. See the way you care for me. You carry my matter for your head, oh. In the name of being a son. Like a little baby. Oh my god, that was a beautiful one, guys. Oh my god. I can't get, in fact, I'm not over the before we are meeting the beautiful mama Rajix. guys i hope all your questions were answered you know i'm, I'm even sure that she, she gave more answers than we have said so thank you for tuning in thank you for joining me on another beautiful episode of 20 questions with your favorite christian celebrity and a very big thank you to our mama our guest on this program mama Rajix. guys do want to stay tuned and you know subscribe to my youtube channel you know turn on the notification bell because i'm going to be interviewing beautiful many of your beautiful fire branded interest in fact 
I know that I've been interviewing music ministers lately, but trust me, we are going to be interviewing preachers of the word, you know, prophets, prophetess, evangelists, you know, teachers of the word right here on this program. So if you want to get more, do go to stay tuned, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, tell people about this channel, you know, it's beautiful. And I can't wait to see you guys next time. Take care of yourself. Bye. Archivalio, you know.